by James M. Dorsey incarcerated for almost two months in a gilded cage in Riyadh's luxurious Ritz-Carlton Hotel. Saudi billionaire businessman Prince Al Walid bin Talal appears to be putting up a fight that could challenge Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's assertion that his two-month-old purge of scores of members of the ruling family, senior officials, and businessmen constitutes a campaign against corruption. Many of those detained in Prince Mohammed's purge, dubbed by critics as a power and asset grab dressed up as an anti-corruption effort, have bought their release by agreeing to surrender significant assets. The government has said it hopes to recover up to $100 billion in allegedly illegitimately acquired funds and assets. Prince Mutib bin Abdullah, a favoured son of the late King Abdullah who was deposed as commander of the National Guard in a bid to neutralise the Saudi Crown Prince's most potent rival secured his release by agreeing to pay $1 billion and signing a document in which he confessed to charges of corruption. In what appears to be the largest settlement demand, Prince Al-Walid has, according to the Wall Street Journal, resisted pressure by the government to hand over $6 billion. Instead, the prince has reportedly offered the government a significant stake in his Riyadh-listed kingdom holding that has invested in blue chips such as Citibank, Twitter, Four Seasons Hotels, and Disney, and operates a media and entertainment empire. Kingdom Holding has lost 14% of its $8.7 billion market value since Prince Al-Walid's detention. The prince has also insisted that he retain a leadership position in his conglomerate. With a fortune estimated by Forbes at $16.8 billion, Prince Al-Walid reportedly believes that the cash settlement demanded by the government would put his empire at peril and amount to an admission of guilt. That may indeed be the purpose of the exercise. A social reformer who already years ago implemented within his own company changes of women's status announced in recent months by Prince Mohammed, is Saudi Arabia's most prominent entrepreneur who is continuously welcomed around the world by heads of state and government and business moguls. The son of Prince Talal bin Abdulaziz, a liberal nicknamed the Red Prince, who in the 1960s and again in the first decade of the 21 st century publicly criticized his family's rule, Prince Al-Walid is believed to have no political ambitions. In resisting Prince Mohammed's demands, Prince Al-Walid is challenging an opaque and seemingly arbitrary process in which despite assertions by the government that it has conducted extensive investigations and collected substantial evidence of corruption, bribery, money laundering and extortion, there has been little, if any, discernible due process and no proof publicly presented. Quoting sources close to Prince Al-Walid, the Wall Street Journal reported that the businessman was demanding a proper investigation and was willing to fight it out in court. He wants a proper investigation.